Hi, and welcome to Bud Radio Interviews, where today we're interviewing Rand Swift of Street Jesus. He'll also be talking about the global free Jesus movement. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the questions and answers here in part one of Street Jesus Interviews. Let's get started with question one. Great question. The Free Jesus Movement is huge. It's probably more than most people can take in at first glance. What it is, it's a revolution intentionally designed to free people who know Jesus Christ so that they can release his life all over into the world around them. What we're trying to do is change minds about what it means to be an apprentice of Jesus Christ. The Free Jesus Movement really is happening globally, and it's saying it's time to get Jesus out of the box of religions and what we've defined as church and into the hands of the people, out into the streets, into the highways, into the hedges, and into the neighborhoods. That really, in a nutshell, is what it's all about. Hey, that's good. That's it exactly. Absolutely. You've probably seen around the free Tibet bumper stickers, and everybody wants Tibet to be released from the control of its oppressors, and that's good. In fact, if you go online, you'll find the mission statement of the Free Tibet Organization it says, Free Tibet stands for the right of Tibetans to determine their own future. We campaign for an end to the occupation of Tibet, and for the fundamental rights of Tibetans to be respected. Well, what we're saying is really the same thing about Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God. It seems like sinister forces always seek to control the expression of Jesus and the kingdom of God in the earth. Man can't handle a free Jesus. Jesus does unconventional things by unconventional means, usually through unconventional people, and he's always upsetting discordant power structures. Just when you think you've got Jesus under control, he goes and walks through the wall and you find him with a big grin on his face, waving at you from the outside on the street as he turns to go find someone else to play with that will let him be him. It's like whenever Jesus moves, we always get to the point where we say, wow, this guy is good. If we can somehow just bottle him up and make him ours, we've got it made. But his penchant for freedom makes him very unpopular with people who have to control everything. It's like God spoke to Pharaoh, the enslaver of Israel, through Moses. But this time the Holy Spirit is speaking directly to the theology of quote-unquote church and the church method, saying, let my people go so they can serve me. The emphasis is on letting Jesus loose within his people to do what he wants to do outside of the box, out in the streets, the neighborhoods, the villages, and places where the dying people in need are living every day. That's a great thought. Globally local. The Free Jesus Movement is not contained and it's not really formalized. It's something that's happening simultaneously all on its own all around the world. It's showing up in Jesus followers as they're getting the itch for the real deal expressions of his life everywhere all the time. Look, there are several things we as followers of Jesus know. Number one, we know there is an eternal mission that goes all the way back before Adam. And that mission is to recapture and fill the earth full with God's amazing glory. Number two, we know Jesus has already triumphed completely over darkness and everything and anything that can ever be thrown in his way to hinder this mission and then number three, it is very clear. We who have received Jesus 
have his exact same spirit living inside of us. Along with that miracle comes the privilege to demonstrate the power of God's love everywhere and into everything surrounding us. That's just what Jesus' apprentices do. 